Okay, so let's have an example for a uh, pipe network. So a pipe network consists of pipeline number one uh, from A to B, then at B is connected to uh, pipelines number two and three where it merges again at joint C to form a single pipeline number four up to a uh, point uh, D. Pipeline one, two, four, are in series connection, whereas uh, pipelines 2 and 3 are parallel to each other. So the rate of flow from A to B is 100 liters per uh, second. Yun yung ating Q1. So the value of uh, discharge number 1 is equal to 100 uh, liters per uh, second. So for example, for this problem, we are looking for, uh, we're looking for discharge for pipeline number 2 and pipeline number uh, three. So the length of pipeline number 3 is 2,200 Number 3, 3,200 And we're using uh, F is equal to uh, 0 0.02 for all pipes So which means we are using uh, Darcy way back for the Alright, okay, let us solve Okay, so first is uh, if you are dealing with pipeline uh, pipe networks, ang una natin gagawin dito is yung una, continuity equation. That is, we have discharge number 1 is equal to, so ito yung source, discharge number 1 connected into two uh, pipes. That is, equal to discharge number 2 plus discharge number 3. Yan, so continuity equation. Then again, magmamerge the wallet at joint C. Then we have a single pipeline four up to point B. So therefore, this is the same as discharge number four. So alam natin dito discharge one is equal to discharge four equal to 100 liters per second. Yan. Equal lang yung dalawang yan. So ang hindi lang natin alam discharge number two and ay uh, discharge uh, number three. So how do we compute for the uh, discharges of parallel pipes? So when it comes to parallel pipes, okay, so reminder, when it comes to parallel pipes, I okay, head losses are equal. And the head loss uh, for parallel pipes will be uh, equal. So by it equal, if you are to draw, for example, uh, the energy diagram from point B to point C So isang point lang naman yung source nila Isang point lang din yung destination nila So if you are to draw an energy equation Then if you are to draw for example the declining energy grade line It will give us one head loss So isang head loss lang yun okay? So that's why if you have parallel pipes They are or they will have the same uh, head loss so therefore, since parallel si pipeline number 2 and pipeline number 3, head loss number 2 is equal to head loss number 3. And we are using Darcy way back, head loss is equal to 0 0.0826, uh, friction factor, the length, discharge squared, this is divided by the diameter raised to, okay, raised to 5. So, unahin natin si pipe number 2, or uh, 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 pwede natin itarantyo dito, so what will be the equivalent of I had loss number 2 that is 0 0.0826 Friction factor is 0 0.02 What is the length of pipeline number 2? That is 2,200 Or take that this is head loss number 2 is equal to head loss number 3 So 0 0.0826 Friction factor the length of pipeline number 2 then this is discharge number 2 squared by divided by ayun, hindi ko na copy yung diameter ni pipeline number 2 ay, diameter of pipeline number 2 is 300 mm ay, lagay natin ay, diameter number 2 is equal to 300 millimeters uh, pipeline number, number 3 diameter is uh, 200 mm Okay, pipeline number 2 is 300 mm, pipeline number 3 is 200 mm. So, pipeline number 2, 0 0.0826, 0 0.02, 2200. This is 0 
a 3 raised to 5 should be equal to we have 0 0.0826 Fission factor is 0.02 Okay, the length of pipeline number 3 is 3,200 Discharge number 3 squared divided by diameter of the pipeline number 3 is 200 0.2 raised to 5 So, pwede natin gawin dito It's either you are to express in terms of discharge number 2 or uh, discharge number 3 So, ang gawin ko na lang dito We have discharge number 3 in terms of discharge Number two. So let's compute. So, no ko is 0 0.30089 Pero double check natin That is 2,200 Times 0.2 raised to 5 Divided by 0.3 raised to 5 Divided by 3,200 Then square root Okay, so we have Is 0 0.3008 Or we will have 5 decimal places Parang hindi masyado ang malaki yung uh, kulang or kakaiba ng values. Yan. So, 0 0.30089 of discharge number 2. Then, balikan lang natin yung continuity equation. So, you have discharge number 1 is called discharge number 2 plus discharge number 3. What is discharge 1? This is 100 liters equal to Discharge number 2 plus equivalent of discharge 2 in terms of 3 ay 3 in terms of 2 That is 0 0.30089 of discharge number 2 So, kunin natin, what will be the discharge in pipeline uh, number 2? So, this will be equal to 70 we have 76.87 So we have 76.87 liters per second So ngayon, paano naman natin kung kunin yung discharge number 3 So obviously, discharge number 3 is equal to discharge number 1 minus discharge number number 2 So discharge in pipeline number 3 will be 100 minus 76.87 so, magkakaroon na ng value for discharge number 3 is na equal to 23.13 liters per cycle. Okay, so when it comes to pipe networks, yung pinaka-key point lang naman dito, if you have parallel, uh, parallel pipes, they have equal head loss. What is for? A pipe network. So, pwede yung dalawang parallel, tatlong parallel, and so on. Pero, kahit ilang, uh, kahit ilang pipes man yan na parallel, magkakaroon lang sila ng isang head loss or they have equal, they will have equal head loss. Okay, so we proceed to another example. Uh, this time, uh, this is between two reservoirs. boss, then we are including a turbine. So, a hydroelectric power generating system is as shown. Yeah. So, water flows from an upper reservoir to, an, to a lower one, uh, passing through a turbine at the rate of 150 liters per uh, second. The total length of the pipe connecting the two reservoirs is 100 uh, meters. The pipe diameter is 250 millimeters and Higgs and William coefficient, the C, equal to 120. The water surface elevations of reservoirs uh, 1 and 2 or the unit of A and B is uh, we have 197 and the other is uh, 50 uh, meters respectively. Compute the power generated by the turbine in kilowatts. So how to determine the power generated by the turbine? Now, if we are to first 
uh, do the energy equation between the two reservoirs. So, alam natin kapag reservoir, exposed to atmosphere. So, kapag exposed to atmosphere, the pressure is equal to zero. Okay, so, pag sinabi rin na reservoir, if you have a reservoir, that is a wide area of uh, water, kahit na babawasan yan, it is assumed na yung liquid surface is not moving. So, that's why we may assume that the initial velocity is also, or the velocity is uh, zero. So, we have its elevation. Let's say the elevation head is equal to 197 meters. That is 4.2 up, uh, 0.1 or 0.8. Well, dito naman, the same kapag reservoir, uh, pressure, open atmosphere, pressure is zero. Velocity is also zero. Meron lang tayo dito ang elevation head na 150. So, kung baga yung energy equation from A to B is papunta sa surface, this is up the total head loss. Yeah. So, kung gagawa natin siya yung equivalent energy equation, that is, uh, diba, from point 0.1 to point 0.2, that is yung elevation head plus the pressure head plus the velocity head V1 squared over at 2G should be equal to, sa kabila, head loss okay, plus the velocity head at point 0.2 plus the pressure head at point 0.2 okay, plus elevation up at point 0.2 Pero again, when it comes to reservoir, pwede nyo i-assume directly that pressure heads and velocity heads are that is, are already uh, zero and when it comes to the difference in elevation of reservoirs, okay, usually, okay, the head loss is basically the difference in elevation. So that is the same as Z1 minus Z2. So no, medyo na ko na to, ang ginagawa ko directly, the difference in elevation between two reservoirs is basically the head loss. So kukunin natin yung head loss. The head loss is 197 minus 50. So we have a total head loss equal to 147 meters. Ngayon, ano gagawin natin sa head loss na yan? Uh, take note, ano ba yung effect ng turbine sa isang pipe system? Okay, so if we have a pump, ang purpose ng pump is to add up or to increase the energy head. Uh, that is opposite for turbine. Uh, turbine is the same as head loss. So you uh, or yes, it, it, it can create head loss. Kaya lang, yung head loss na yun is not only because of the turbine. So take note that, uh, that this total head loss is due to head loss because of uh, friction. And the other is the head loss because of the turbine. So we have uh, two main components of this head loss this time. This is the head loss because of friction and the other is the head loss because of the okay, because of the turbine. Ngayon, this head loss due to friction is H sub C by Kaysen Williams. In yung purpose ng mga given na ba. So let's determine the head loss due to friction. So by Kaysen Williams, this is the head loss, or equal to H sub C, is equal to uh, 10.67 L, discharge raised to 1.85, this is divided by uh, C raised to 1.85, the diameter raised to 4.87. Alright, so computing for the head loss due to friction, H sub C is equal to 10.67. What is the length of the pipe? This is equal to 100 meters. Discharge is 150 meters or 0 0.15 raised to 1.85. This is divided by the constant 120 raised to 1.85. Pipe diameter is 0 0.25. This is raised to 4.87. So let's compute for the head loss due to friction.
Right, so we have a head loss of 3 point. 886 meters. So we have 3.886 meters. So that we can now determine the head loss or the head extracted by the upper body. So we have the head loss is equal to the head loss due to friction, H sub C, plus the head extracted by the turbine. So sabihin mo na lang pala uh, H sub T. H sub T na lang tayo, the head extracted by the up turbine. Or that, that's the same as the head loss because of the up turbine. The total head loss is equal to 147 is equal to H sub C, 3.886 plus the head extracted by the turbine. H sub T now is equal to is 147 minus 3.886. Uh, so we'll be having 143.114 uh, meters. Our uh, union head extracted by the uh, turbine. So now, paano mo rin yung power generated by the turbine? So what is our general formula for power? We have the power is equal to the unit weight of water discharged times the head. Kaya kung power generated by the turbine, let's say P sub T, the power generated by the turbine, gamitin lang natin the head extracted by the turbine. So we have the power generated by the turbine, so equal to gamma water, 9,800 or kilowatts yet in units. So we have, this is 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic. Meter. What is our discharge? That is 0 0.15 cubic meter per second. The head extracted by the turbine is 143.114 meters. So dito, if we are to do unit analysis, cancel yung cubic meter. The power generated by the turbine, remaining units is kilonewton meter per uh, second or the same as the kilowatts. Let's compute. So that will be equal to 200. So to 210.5592 kilowatts. Let's double check. All right. 